Hello on YouTube. Today my mom and I are back with another exciting recipe. Today we're gonna to teach you guys how to make some pickled cucumber along with some garlic just to spice it up, kick it up a notch. Here we have two varieties of pickles that we purchased from 99 Ranch Market. And here are some of the spices, very simple to make. Salt, sugar, and some of this sushi vinegar. And we're going to put all this inside an empty container, glass container. Basically, I'm using a baby dill pickle container that I got from Walmart. So basically, here's how my mom is chopping up. Cut off the edges, discard them. So here, I think she's just crushing them to make it more compact. Now she's cutting it into like uh, longitudinally into wedges. And here are some chopped up, diced up garlic pieces. Now she's going to do the same thing to the regular baked cucumbers. And of course we wash it thoroughly before we started cutting them. Wow, that piece is falling apart. Of course, watch out for your hands as you cut it. Notice how my mom is cutting it at an angle away from the thumbs. I mean the fingers. So look carefully how she cut it. This should be cutting along the fingers at an angle away from your important digits. So there you have it. Alright, so now my mom's going to sprinkle some sugar in there. Just a good amount, you know, just to add some flavor, not too much. And now just a little bit of salt. Looks like salt slightly more than sugar. Now with the sushi vinegar, I believe my uncle used, he preferred to use it, that's why we decided to go with this versus your regular white vinegar or no, aged vinegar, because supposedly too, this type sour. of sushi vinegar, it's not too sour and supposedly it preserves it at a faster pace. So now my mom just going, of course her hand is clean, just to... Mix it all in real good. Make sure you got the garlic and all those exciting flavors mixed in all well. So my mom say, I'm going to eat it right away. But of course, we're going to put it in the microwave. Make sure it soaks in all the exciting flavors overnight. So here we go. I'm in the refrigerator. Wow, it it's got a lot of flavor in it. I taste that exciting sushi vinegar with the hint of salt and sugar. Actually, I think we're going to add a little bit of the cayenne pepper in there to spice it up. Or to now we're going to add some crushed red pepper, kick it up a notch, it's a proper amount. All right, now that we got the flavor right, just put all the pieces inside the jar. Fill it up real good, but don't overfill it because you need to close the lid. It's a good amount. Pack it in real good. It's all topped off, close the lid, put it 
in the refrigerator and we'll see how it turns out overnight. Now we put it in the refrigerator and we'll see how it turns out overnight. Tube, it's dinner time again. Let's see how this jar of pickle turned out. This will go perfect with simple steamed rice. Let's see what this is. Oh, look at how look at how succulent that looks. Let's see how it tastes. Good. Mmm, so good. It absorbed that that slightly sweet and tang sushi vinegar, which is seasoned properly, and that garlic adds that extra Asian type of exciting flavor to it. It's very simple to make. I imagine this would go great even with barbecue. Very simple and easy way to eat vegetables. I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoy the recipe. On a scale of 100 percent, I would give this a 88 percent. So hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Until next time.